What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to give you my thoughts about the Looking Glass Portrait. I want to tell you if I like it, do I recommend it, what kind of device it is, how do you use it, and basically everything about it so you can get started either with your iPhone device or with Unity. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already opened the device and I wanted to show you a couple of things that came with the device. I decided to get the little case and this is a case that came with it. It also came with you know microfiber if you wanted to clean it up. I have a couple of these for multiple devices. You also have these little things so you can carry carry it. And then obviously you're gonna get a couple of little manuals and that's basically the, the case. I haven't really used it. I have it in here. The device itself is pretty light. It has you know an HDMI so you can connect that to your computer. It also has a USB-C connection and then also an audio port so you can connect that as well with your headphones. And then on the other side, you have a couple of buttons. This one is going to be either for forwarding to the next hologram or going back to the previous hologram. You can also use this button to pass your hologram because most likely what you're gonna be putting in here are going to be videos. Like if they're videos and they're animated, you can actually pass it by just pressing this button. And then on the very back on the side, you have you know a button to power it off and also one to turn on the LED lights, which you can basically dim, which are going to be around the corners. So the first thing that I wanna do before we get into transferring you know, images to this device, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. So here's my USB-C connection. I already have that one connected to my computer. And then also the HDMI, it's going to be connected. Once you do that, there's gonna be a button here on the side, which is gonna be lighting up. You can kind of see that. And it's gonna go ahead and hold it and press it. And you're gonna see that the portrait should start coming up here in just a second. Once it comes up, it's going to be loading, you know, everything, all the different holograms that we, that come preloaded with the device. And then I also have one that I already put in here, which is, yeah, my Starbucks coffee. But if you want to change the hologram, all you have to do is just press here on the side. It'll take a minute until everything loads. There we go. And you can see, you know, the astronaut, if I want to change it to a different one, I can press it and change it to a different one. We can do, you know, I think this one is the Fortnite one. I can, you know, look at different ones here that we're taking. If you want to pause it, I can also pause it. You can see that it passed the actual video. I can continue the video. You'll see a little symbol here on the top left corner of the state of the video. So I can also go, you know, if I want to go back to the previous one, I can do that. I can, you know, fast forward. The most basic thing that you can do to basically put a hologram on your device, I'm going to go into the camera. And I'm gonna make sure that I select portrait. So just make sure that you do that because that's going to have the depth information. And then I'm gonna change it to one X. Once you do that, just go ahead and take a picture. It's gonna go ahead and take a picture of my devices. So I'll just do that, I'll just take a couple of them, perhaps one, maybe one more of the computer. And then once you have those taken, all you have to do is just basically email them to you. Make sure that you don't do, you don't add any compression or transfer it to a, you know, to an application that is going to be changing the resolution and also you don't want to lose any of the you know of that depth data otherwise it's not going to be looking like a hologram so i'm just going to send it to my email and then that's basically what i'll do I'll just go ahead and hit enter and then yes i do want to send it with an empty subject that's okay and then it'll tell you here right do you want to change the resolution yes or no I'm just gonna do actual size so that I don't lose anything and then I'll transfer that to my computer. Okay, so now that I email all the images to me, you're gonna see that we have them um, all in here. I got a couple of shots. So we could, you know, select one or two. I'm just gonna select the best shot and then just get it downloaded. And I can download it as a zip file or we can download it as a JPEG. I think I'm just gonna do a JPEG. And then I'll just copy that and then we can just put it here on my desktop. The other application that you're gonna need in order for you to do what I'm about to do is download the Holoplay Studio. And you can get that downloaded from the lookingglassfactory.com and then software. If you go to this side, there's gonna be just a lot of information in here, a lot of software that you can download, what is required, what are 3D viewers, developer tools, integrations, and legacy software. So if we go back and then we can just do show all. This is gonna be a requirement, right? You're gonna need the Holoplay service in your computer, so make sure that you download that first and get it installed. Once you have that running, then you can download Holoplay Studio, which is going to be this application here that I already downloaded and installed. And you can see that I already downloaded even the core examples that they provide. But once you get that downloaded, make sure that you install it. 
And then the other thing that you can also download is going to be the basically the Unity plugin, which we're going to be going through. You can click on it. It'll tell you here some of the requirements. Make sure that you don't use Unity 2020. I tried that at first. It actually didn't work for me on Windows or Mac. So I wouldn't recommend using that. Instead, I recommend using 2018.4.24 F1, which is the latest version available as of today. So make sure that you download that. And then just click on download. It just basically downloads a Unity package. And you can create a new Unity, basically a new Unity project, and then just double click on that package to import it. I'm not going to show you that because that's pretty, you know, it's pretty simple to do. Just open, create a Unity project, and then open the Unity package. It'll import it, and then you're good to go. Once you do that, you're going to be able to basically open up the project, and basically you're going to have what you're about to see. Once that is downloading and once that is opening, and we can look at the how we can transfer an image. So if we go back in here, you're going to see that we have, I have all these different images in here. And these are, these are all the different holograms. They're either, you know, videos or images that are already transferred to my device. So I really have the device connected. So once it's connected, it's going to allow me to basically toggle through all of these and then play them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to be labeling these. We're going to just say YouTube video, video demo. That way we know this is going to be the one that we are loading into the device. And once you do that, it should load in here. If that doesn't work, I'll just go to, I'll just go ahead and click on that hologram. I think this was, uh, this is a feature that I want to add in, in a future that you can drag and drop multiple. I don't think it works right now. So we'll just go ahead and do it here. You can see that it gives you the option to do iPhone portrait. You can also do either a photo or video, a, a quill photo and video, or you can do a light field photo set. I only did, to be honest, I only did a quill photo and video and also an iPhone portrait. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Let's click on import file. Once you do that, you can go into, you know, where your image is located, double click it. It'll, you know, basically will just take a minute to load. And then it should be in here somewhere. You can see it in here. And once it's ready to be viewable, you can double click on it and it'll basically display on your device. If it doesn't, then just make sure that you, you know, you have everything connected. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. So I already have the device connected. And one thing that you need to do is make sure that you press this button right here. And if you press it once, it's going to basically allow you to connect it to your computer. So it's already connected, but it's not in USB mode. So that's going to allow you to do that. And when this happens, if you get, you know, something like this where the depth is not quite right, what I normally do is just close out of the computer. And then we'll just go ahead and reopen the Holoplay Studio. Once you reopen Holoplay Studio, now we should be able to see the image and it should look, you know, it should look correctly with the depth data. Couple of things that you wanna also make sure that you do, go into display settings and make sure that you have the monitor tool, which is going to be, you know, the, the portrait device that I'm using. Make sure that you select it. And then if you go down, these are some of the settings that you wanna have. You wanna have 100% on the scale and layout and also the display resolution. Just make sure that you set that to recommend it. Otherwise, things are not going to look quite right. So once you're happy with that, you should apply the changes. So what you're looking at right now is just a brand new project with Unity 2018.4.24. And I just basically just extracted the package. So if I go back in here and we can go into my downloads and you're going to see that I have this Unity package. All I did is just extract it and import it into this Unity project. Then what you want to do is you want to go into Holoplay. So we can close out of this. Holoplay, and then you want to look at examples, and they have many examples in here that you can use for as a reference. I'm going to go into my framing content in Holoplay, which is the one that I have loaded, and then in here you're going to see that I have Holoplay capture, and what you're seeing right now on the frame is basically my, you know, my screen's uh, wallpaper. So if I wanted to look at the preview, which is what you see in Unity, and hit play, now you're going to see an interactive, you know, how it shows on the actual portray glass and I can also rotate it in here. I can also move around and you're going to see that the portrait is showing us, you know, the holograms correctly. A couple of things here to know is I added a, what's called a 3D cursor and I'll go into more in depth of how this works, but it basically allows you to, if I hit play, it allows you to focus on different areas. So it's actually really hard to see here on this preview, but I'll just go ahead and go into this view. And then we can go ahead and zoom in perhaps a little bit here. And you're going to see that there's a little cursor that is showing. And I can double click on different areas and then focus. 
And this is helpful because if you wanted to record, you know, specific areas of your holograms, then you can do that. They have this thing, if you go into Holoplay Capture, and this Holoplay Recorder that you can use. And these are just scripts that you can add as components, right? I can say Holo, and then it'll basically show you the Holoplay Recorder. And then I also downloaded a script, which I'm going to be putting in the description of this video. And this script allows you to use your keyboard to record. And then basically those recordings will turn into different files. And those files will be the ones that we load to the device. So all you really need to do is if we go into the Quill the Quil Recorder, you're going to see that it has different you know keystrokes that it's capturing. And for instance, if you want to start the recording, you can do, you know, basically it's going to be alpha one, which is going to be your number one, number two, and number three. It's going to be for resuming, pausing, and then stop recording. So if I wanted to record something, I could just basically hit play, have that, have that script associated with it. And all I really need to do is just press one. And you can see right here in the bottom left corner that is recording. I can also rotate, say that I wanted to record these or maybe get closer to the to these basically to mice and then you can zoom in if you wanted to with your mouse scrolling it's gonna it's gonna look really bad because i'm not making this pretty but basically you hit four and stop the recording and if you wanted to see where that is we can go into you know show an explorer and then we can go back into the root and you're gonna see that it has an mp4 if i double click on this it's going to be the holograms that we can load into our device so we can do that next let me go ahead and minimize all this minimize all this and we can go back into the you know the holoplay studio it's going to load everything and then we can go and find our you know mp4 and then we can just drag it and drop it in here and once you do that it should show you and i keep doing the same mistake you don't want to drag it and drop it what you want to do is we're going to do a quill cool photo and and video import file. I'm just so used to those features that I'm I just, it's unbelievable that that is not available, but you know, uh, hands down, everything works so well. So that's the only little thing that I found as annoying. And then you can see now it shows my, you know, the holograms. We can just go ahead and sync it and then we're basically ready to go. So your last question is, Dilmer, do you recommend using the Looking Glass Portrait for anything that you're doing with extended reality? And I would say absolutely. This device is not only helpful for anybody that is doing extended reality, but if you're a 3D designer and wants to see your 3D creations, I would say, you know, get something like this because it's actually really affordable and, and it's going to be basically part of your workflow. So if you like this video, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any other questions about it, please let me know in the comments as well. Thank you, guys.